Not only is his minister being mocked in Quebec's media, but also it's being said that we voted against bringing retirement age down to 65 and voted against increasing the OAS. But it was always buried in bills with other interference and measures which were unacceptable for Quebec. The prime minister and his minister are misleading people. Can the prime minister admit that there was never a specific vote just on increasing the GIS or just on the retirement age? The right honorable prime minister. Well, the Bloc Québécois leader becomes incredibly defensive when we suggest that they're only here to pick fights, that they're only here to oppose measures which will be good for Quebecers and for Canadians. They do not want the government of Canada to work well for Quebecers. That's why the Bloc Québécois voted against dental care, which is now helping hundreds of thousands of Canadians everywhere in Canada and in Quebec. It is getting these people dental treatment that they could not have afforded previously. We're here to invest in Quebecers and Canadians. The Bloc Québécois is here to pick fights. The Honourable Member for Belle et Chambly. The Prime Minister defends horror stories worthy of Halloween, even though this Halloween might be his last as Prime Minister. Up to one million Quebecers, up to four million Canadians are affected by the Bloc Québécois bill. The Prime Minister has not clearly replied to our question. The Prime Minister allowed his minister to insult the intelligence of organizations which represent seniors. Does the Prime Minister realize that he is causing financial vulnerability among four million Canadians, which includes one million Quebecers?